Maybe you don't know where to start reading in the Bible, the Word of God. Well, I just kind of want to tell you the important thing is not necessarily where you're reading, but making sure that you read it with the Holy Spirit, the one that wrote the Word of God. Just a simple example. This morning, I had a desire to read something from the Old Testament. So I'm listening to the Holy Spirit. It's like, where are you leading me? Because again, when you delight yourself in the Lord, He gives you desires of your heart. Psalms 37, 4 says. So when I have a desire in my heart, I listen to it. I believe that's the Holy Spirit. And so I start going to the Old Testament and I land on 1 Kings. Now the part I wasn't excited about because it's all of how Solomon built the temple for God. And it's all of this work stuff of how they made the pillars and how they made the tables and what they carved. It's work stuff. Somebody would find that really interesting. I did not. So I asked the Holy Spirit, I said, is this important to me? Can I skip this? And I just heard again, like a thought that comes up from your heart, not down from your head. Keep reading. Okay. Can we not just say he built the temple and it was all gold? So I'm reading and it's this, and this was gold, and this was gold, and, and this was gold plated, and they carved this, and this was gold, and it sounds amazing, and it sounds beautiful, and the truth is, it was so abundant, it was the best of the best of the best that this earth had to give. It was the best place for the Holy Spirit to live. So I'm reading all of this stuff that I kind of find boring, but yet I hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, and he says, that temple was the best of the best that this earth had to offer. Yet it was just a placeholder because where I really wanted to be was to make my dwelling on the inside of you. And I thought about it. I mean, gold tables, gold pillars, gold utensils, but yet that was nothing. It's nothing compared to where God really wanted to live. And that's on the inside of me and on the inside of you. So even if you're reading something of all the begots or all the ways the temple was made or even maybe all the rules in the Old Testament, the point is read it with the Holy Spirit. If you will read it with the very Spirit of God that wrote it, you're going to hear something. You're going to learn something and it's going to encourage your heart. And you know, I needed that this morning. I needed to hear how much he wanted to live and do life on the inside of me way more than a temple covered in gold.